I am Alex Weeks, and I play Pip Tjorvik, who is an otterkin artificer, and that is a very hard thing to say. Uh, so I have been saying otterfisser. I really wanted to play something that straight out of like Nardia. Also, Titan AE. I took that very classic story of needing to prove your father right and fulfill a legacy that is not your own and maybe discovering what your real legacy is going to be along the way. I'm so excited to see that through. What a cool moment when I pitched to Tanner, hey, what if I played an otter? And he said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> The coolest thing about Galvera, I think, is the way magic exists. Tanner described magic as this living thing that is adapting and changing and evolving. Magic 100 years ago is not the same thing as magic today. Things are created, things die, things adapt. Wow, yes, and I'm so thrilled to get the chance to just discover things. And especially as an artificer, that's all about discovery. It's all about how do you get to be your specific kind of artificer. There are so many things stretching far into the future that might change that I don't I don't want to set anything up now that I, I feel committed to because the story's going to change. Uh, but one thing I do know for sure that's gonna happen is the subclass I'm going to play, um, which I'm not gonna I'm not talk about too much because it's really cool, it's got some really unique pieces to it. And what I'm excited for is getting there. I have two whole levels to discover that. Pip, can you go ahead and make a deck save for me, please? I can. I have been playing Dungeons and Dragons for a very long time. My father first got me into it in second grade, whatever the edition was in 2002, probably 3.5. And I have been playing ever since. I became a game guide at some point and I'm very excited to finally get a chance to play again after 10 years. I officially became a part of the Rolls Untold production crew uh, after the first game that I played with Tanner. It was electric, it was amazing, it was exciting. I believe it was set in Galvera, and I got a chance to play with Olivia for the first time there. It's like a spark. I knew that this was, this was it. <laughs> <laughs> the most rewarding experience producing Rolls Untold, it's gonna be very cliche, but it really is getting an opportunity to work with all of the other cast members and producers. <laughs> do, do the, as I spin it, do the, um, do the runes? Or Everyone on the team is fantastic, highly skilled, just amazing storytellers. <laughs> Wait, what? And I feel so honored and lucky to get to play with them. I get to work with such an amazing cast who have time and time again freaking blown my expectations out of the water. It's so much of Rolls Untold and of the fate of Galvera. It feels so alive, and I am so thrilled to get a chance to discover what's next.